Okay, good morning everyone. It's the 12th of July today, um, so let's have a look at the FTSE. Okay, yesterday we had um, a fairly strong update, the majority of which came on the back of the news that um, May is going to be the new Prime Minister. Um, so having a bit of certainty on the way we're moving forward has spurred this market higher basically um, for me now we're up into the sort of 6670 levels um, really the next key levels of resistance you know it's, it's up into the swing highs up here all these levels up here um, and then once we get a little bit higher again up here you know, there's lots of very, very strong resistance. Then we've got more up here. We've got all these lows. and um, There's plenty of levels of resistance, plenty of levels of support below. And for me, you know, this is, this is um, really it's the ideal market conditions because I'm happy to take blind, um, not sorry, blinds. I'm happy to take buys and sells. Um, for me, this morning, what I'm looking for is let's have a quick look um really i'm looking for early morning if i can get an early morning trade which is clearly what i prefer to do um, i prefer to get the well first of all i only ever take you know one trade maximum two trades um per day that's just the way i trade um, I'm not a, a screen watcher. I don't want to sit at the computer all day. I'm not an active trader. I don't want to take every single trade that triggers off throughout the day. I just, you know, want to get into the market, get out of the market, and be done for the day. Free up my time. You know, it's it's, it's why I love, or one of the reasons I love trading. It doesn't happen every day. Clearly, you know, cl clearly I can't, I can't predict the market. I can't make the market do exactly what I want every day but when I get it that then I just take it and that's me finished um, so this morning I'm yeah I am happy to take shorts from up here and from here if the market did begin to rally you know up at R1 more than happy to look for the shorts and then this is us into the key swing highs up here I'd be happy to take shorts from there also if where are we at 737 if this market did begin to rally up um pre-market I'd, I'd i'd look for a blind sell at the open if we get up here somewhere i'd look for the blind sell and um, i need to watch it and see how it sets up and see what price action does before i decide on that but that's really my preferred trades for the day even though we're rallying even although we are um, into a bullish market, the levels we're coming up into are strong enough for me to be happy to take these sell positions. And also, you know, with such strong rallies, um, and yesterday with it coming on the back of the news about May coming in on Wednesday, it is on the back of news. A lot of this price action recently has been on the back of news. Um, because of that, I'm happy to look for people taking profits off the table. What else can I go over this morning? Um, not too much, really, guys. Um, I did. I got an email recently asking about the interview that I've set up with the um, psychologist. That's uh, going to be with Owen Fitzpatrick. Um, I have not forgotten about that. It's happening in August when I am in New York, and then I will post it um, once it's edited. You know, once I get back home again, edit it. It will come onto the YouTube channel. Okay, guys. So I will come back at four thirty and have a look at what the footsie did. Um, but for now, that's everything really I want to go over. Okay, so the market has spiked up into this high here. Um, I was happy to get short on that spike up. As always, I go over with blind sells, blind buys. They are 
higher risk clearly the reason they're higher risk is because you're not getting the confirmation um, of candlestick setups um, or any other confluences that you may look for when you're taking trades um, I'm happy to get into them usually at the near or at the open of markets and um, because they tend to move quite quickly um, and make relatively large moves um, so you know it means you can get into the market without waiting for that confirmation quite often if you wait for the confirmation at the very open the majority of the move is done um, by the time the signal has formed um, so you know it's, it's higher risk as I have mentioned, but I'm happy to do it if the analysis of everything lines up and tells me that it's a good trade. Um, so I'm just going to manage it now, watch the market, see how it begins to react with this zone um, and act accordingly. Okay, so the first five minute candle has closed. It's closed right in the zone here. Um, I'm still happy to leave this trade running. It's not giving me any evidence to exit. Um, with you know, with all your trades, that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for your emotional reaction. Um, you're not looking to look and say, "Oh, this is now minus whatever you may be at." You know, you need concrete evidence. You need um, the market to tell you that it's time to come out. And really, you know, really, you should be paying attention to this. And not over here. I know it's easier said than done, especially when you are a new trader. Um, but it's 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 really what you need to to do. You know, losing trades are part of the business. It shouldn't be something that you um, fear. If your risk management's okay, and um, you know, there's there's really no big issue with it. Okay, so not, not a lot has changed. Um, we've had the 805 candle, which has pushed up a little bit further. Um, it hasn't changed anything to do with the trade. Um, you know, until the market actually breaks out of this zone um, and the price starts accepting above this zone, I'm not really interested in editing uh, my analysis or changing what I want to do with this trade. So I'm just letting the market run, letting the candles complete, um, and then basically making the decisions after the close of the candles. It's a good thing to go over actually. Um, a lot of people, they exit trades as candles are forming. It's, it's really not a good idea. Um, you really want to let the candle finish forming um, before you exit. Now, you know, unless your target, unless you've met your target, if you've met your target, fine, exit exit whilst the candle's still forming. But if you're panicking and you want to get out of a trade, um, you really should let the candlestick finish forming and then make your decision. You've got to remember every candle, let's just say this candle right here, and um, you're looking at as your exit candle, it's going to look very, very strong, very, very bullish as it's forming but then it closes all the way back down as a bearish candle. You know, you don't know what the candle is going to do until it um, finishes forming.
Okay, so all I'm th thinking after this one is, well, first of all, um, a bit annoying I didn't get into a long position. Um, take a quick 10 to 12 points. You know, that's really what I'm um, thinking, but th that wasn't my analysis. I had no um, signs that it would bounce like that off of that area. Um, that's another thing with trading. You know, there's no perfect way to trade. There's no perfect time frame. No matter what you hear from so-called experts um, who say, oh, you have to trade the daily, you have to trade the four-hour, anything under that is noise, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's no perfect time frame. There's no perfect entry. You know, I've taken a blind sell here. Um, blind sell isn't the perfect, or blind entries aren't the perfect way to trade. Entering after a signal candle isn't the perfect way to trade. Entering with retracements isn't the perfect way to trade. Scalping a few points isn't the perfect way to trade. All you can hope to do is get an edge in the market. If you can get an edge in the market, um, you know, just just follow your edge. You don't need to try and take every single point out of the market. You know, every single move it makes. You don't need to be on every single move. You just need to find your edge. Um, and, and just keep using it, you know, keep doing the same things over and over and over and over again. I've only really got sort of maybe three different ways I look for trades. Um, I've got the blind buys and the sells, which I take if the market sets up in very specific ways. Um, I have zone trader trades, which I take, you know, those are the the trades I take most often um, and you know really really that's it to be honest I have a couple of market dynamic trades also I suppose those would be like the third kind of trades that I take but apart from that there's I don't do anything else I just do the same things over and over and over and over again and the reason I do that is because they work they make they make me money in the long run so you know that's that's the whole point of sitting at this chart is the whole point of doing what we do. So now I'm just watching it and um, we've had a rejection or a bounce off of the zone and um, however it's rejected back up here again. So I'm just watching to see how it reacts um, now. I don't want it to start rallying very strongly again now really okay so um, I've exited that trade now um, all I was looking at with this candle here is the candle kept coming down to this low right here and then rejecting and bouncing back up again and um, but the important thing for me was when it was bouncing back up, it wasn't going anywhere. So it wasn't showing me any um, bullish strength. The next candle tried to pop up and failed and then came down. Um, and I got out down here. Uh, let me just get this up. At these levels right here, basically. So there we go, trade done. Um, I believe it was about 18 points. What I will do is later in this week, I'll likely do the... Um, trading account, um, the compounding trading account that I've been doing. Um, I believe that's at target or above target now, so I'll just do that this week and post it up for you guys at the end of the week or the start of next week. Okay, so we'll come back at 4.30, we'll have a look at this market and we'll see what it did. Zone traders, I'll take you through the other trades um, or whatever trades set up that you could have taken. Okay, it's almost 25 past 5. The FTSE is closed. First thing we can see is we've had a very small day today. The FTSE hasn't really gone anywhere at all. Um, it's basically popped up into the level I took the short from. Um, and it's rejected off of there a few times. If we go on to the 5 minute time frame, what we can see. You know, we've popped up, rejected. Rejected here. Um, made a false break here and rejected once again um, going over some of the trades we can have a look at 
there's quite a few nice trades to take um, from this market. You know, you have a very, very, nah, in fact, that's not one at all, sorry. If we go, let me just get this. If we come along here, we get a sell position right here after an engulfing candle. Um, it's a very nice signal. It comes on the back of a head and shoulders. You have a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. Just gives you a little bit more confluence. You then get the engulfing candle um, signal to enter. You know, and really you're you're targeting the zone below. The markets failed to break the zone here. It's failed to break the zone above here. Um, so you have to look at this as your level of support and resistance and this as your level of support and resistance. Also, when the market comes back down, you get a pin bar right here which popped up. I actually watched this candle form. It popped up very quickly and then collapsed back very quickly. We get another engulfing candle all the way over here at 125. Um, and once again, you know, the market shoots up into the above zone, it makes a false break, does not really go anywhere, comes back down and then crashes all the way back down into this zone again. You can actually see um, after market, we've bounced off of this zone once again, we've came up and we're just starting to reject up here again. A very indecisive day in the markets today. Um, Carney was speaking at Parliament and with a new Prime Minister being announced um, and that coming into effect tomorrow, I believe. I think the market's just, you know, digesting the news. Um, we've had the very strong rally. Uh, we popped here when it was announced that May was going to be taking over as Prime Minister. And today, you know, the market's just sort of floated sideways and it hasn't really gone anywhere. Um, for trading, you know, those kind of days can be the best trading day. When you're in a relatively tight range and you're just bouncing between it, going along sideways like this, you know, because you can get short at the top, you can get long at the bottom, and you can just ride the market um, going both ways. On the four hour time frame, let's just have a look here. Well, first thing you can see is here, this is a head and shoulders also. There's your head, shoulder, shoulder, and then up we've gone. Um, we've came up into these levels, and you can see here the market is showing weakness. It's just chopping sideways. Um, so, yeah, so really reading into the market a little bit further. Um, we've had the pullback here was very, very small. Oops, let me just come down. I've already gone over this. It was around about 23 percent on the Fibonacci if we come up yep 23.6 percent we've then bounced up once again and um, but what we can see is we're sh we're really struggling up here at these highs thus far anyway and um, we've popped above it but we haven't really gone anywhere so what I'm doing now is I'm watching to see if this is going to be a false break um, if this market is going to start coming back down once again and stronger this thing I've already Gone over, we have very strong levels of resistance above. So for me, I'm more than happy to keep selling this market if we get positions um, from up here, from up here, at the gap creation point here, here, and even up above. You know, we've got more here, here, and this whole level of congestion up here. So there's lots of resistance areas above, and um, lots of reasons for people to take profits and sell into this market. And that's what really I'm going to be watching for if we start coming up um, once again. Okay, guys, so hopefully that was helpful. And um, we'll come back next week and we will go over it all again.